well for the first time i forgot to hit record uh welcome back to the channel i'm king of in today's video we're back with xcom chimera squad i just went to check the how long i've been recording realized i never pushed record it, nothing too major happened we just saw uh, a cut scene that we saw before talking about sacred coil a world that wants you to do nothing more than diminish it will clutch at your potential pull you down choke you with lies until you can't see the truth but we we can be your guide from these depths your passage from the tyranny of human rule all we ask is that you climb do not adjust do not change for now you walk the bonded stair anyways the only thing we watched the cutscene that we seen before, which was basically describing what Sacred Coil is, which is a group of strike uh, mercenaries. But this switched up to 10, not 10, 5, which it might as well be 10, I guess. Um, we finished. What else? Oh, we got Axiom on the team now. I think I've been missing promotions when they originally pop up. I'm not sure. Can't remember. Uh, what else happened? We got an we got a pistol which we're gonna give to Blue Blood. It was an epic pistol which we did here, which is why this one went up. Uh, okay, still want to get this dragnet thing in, which I think I might go ahead and get unlocked now. Oh no, I can't do that because I don't have expert fuel teams unlocked. So I'll just be doing this one then. Uh, our anarchy is getting a little out of hand right now, but we do have a promotion to give a uh, blue blood. Almost called him Axiom. Where's he at? There he is. Promote agent. So he's now a max level. Promotion to the rank principal agent has unlocked face off. Blue blood fires their pistol at every enemy in, in line of sight, limited by ammo, one use permission. That's a pretty solid move. I don't know what his aim here is, but his aim right now is literally set to 100 with all of his attachments and such. And now, Whisper, there's a problem. Axiom, welcome. What's wrong? I uh, noticed someone took the biggest locker. Yep, that was me. I knew you'd get here eventually and grabbed it, so no one else would. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll move my stuff. Yeah, that's the problem. I already did, violently. You... didn't you see the note? Yeah, afterward. I'll replace what I can. Yeah, I think that's the same intro that we had for Axiom last time. For some reason, that didn't play when we first picked him up like it usually would have. But we got a new pistol for him, the Artful Fathom, which give, grants the Lightning Hands ability, which I do believe is the one that I wanted. Fire your pistol at a target. This attack does not cost an action. Lightning Hands has a three-turn cooldown. So now he can fire this weapon. He can fire his weapon three times, I believe, in a round. Because he can use Blue Blood takes a shot with 15% 15, 15 aim penalty for 50% damage boost. Does not in turn if used as first action. So I can use Dead Eye, then I can use Lightning Hands, and then I can take a normal shot. So we probably want to get him an auto loader soon, too. We're probably going to take him off the team and have him do uh, training in a second. Once shelter is done uh axiom not axiom blue blood is gonna come off the scene but for now we have to deal with this emergency that we have uh i'm gonna pull the district and that's gonna go by five i'm gonna pull the district unruts down here and freeze this district and then go ahead and do this mission which will come down by two unrest in this district has reached a boiling point unknown hostiles are openly fighting in the streets we must intervene as soon as possible to restore civil order and this is the same team that I took last time. So everything should be set up already. I believe. Let's check the supplies thing and make sure I'm not missing. Yep, where I was. So how much money do we have? We have a decent amount of money. I want to buy uh, Overdrive Serum grants a significant boost to mobility and an agent Overdrive Serum gains. Place the armor makes the agent temporarily immune to negative mental effects like panic and mind control. I know I want to get some regen weave. I want to get the venom rounds. And that's all of our money. All right. The venom rounds. I'm going to go to her. 
take the acid grenades away actually well no i'll leave her with the acid grenade in the venom rounds and she can take she can take the ap rounds this one yeah because the tracer rounds are increasing his aim plus the scope plus already having high aim anyways so yeah i think that's fine she gets a critical a boost to her critical hit chance if she's shooting at enemies that are poisoned and then she doesn't shoot much so she doesn't have much going for her right now and he's new so he just has whatever he can hold basically towards his gun at least until he starts leveling up some more to move away from his gun and have smash be more powerful dangerous contraband confirmed recover it from the hostiles all right prevent enemies from escaping all units of this engine get plus 50 dodge for the breach first unit through this engine gets plus one armor for the encounter i'll have axiom go first then in blue blood with his hollow scan patchwork can just shoot and torque can come up last this way we can use his uh smash ability a little more because he'll have that boost to armor which is reduced damage overall I'm gonna shoot at the commando because they're gonna shoot at us. I don't he missed, I think. But also he did a whole bunch of I don't know what just happened. There's a bunch of shit happening right now. The bruiser. The cobra's there. An android's there. A hitman. Okay, well, none of those have anything that I'm going to be concerned with if it goes off. As long as it wasn't a defender, I wasn't going to go for them pretty much. Nine of six hands to shoot and kill. Let's go for it. Just to kill something and keep it out of the turn order. There's a guardian in here who's hollow targeted right now, so. That shouldn't be too bad overall. Prevent them from escaping and they're leaving out. Where are they leaving? They're leaving through here, okay. Have him psych up. up. Axiom charges to a target, smashes down with both hands, chance to disorientate, stun, or render unconscious. We're gonna go for the number two, dude. Hello. Just to try and stun them so they can't give a shield to everything. Armor soften the blow. There has to be a way in. I was hoping we'd go for just the shot instead of giving the shield us everything. That thing prime self-destruct. Still missed Axiom though, so that's not bad. Now what was the order? Dead eye first. On Damn, only 15% there. We'll use Dead Eye here. missed okay but then we we'll use lightning hands on that android again we try dead eye again it has a 75 percent chance to hit but if it does it will kill so let's go for that then cool that removes the shield off the defender so that was kind of two birds one stone right there Axiom's rage is increasing. His muton, uh, the little muton thing he gets, whatever it's called, rage or whatever, berserk, isn't too bad. Because he can only target, he really only goes for other enemies. So the worst thing that could happen is if after his first move, he, uh, berserks, and then you won't be able to use, um, whatever you had to plan, basically. Oof. Could put him in Overwatch to trap the number dude suit in that corner. I think I'll do that. That what this dude is. I forgot he was just going for the exit anyways, but that's not too bad because he's just gonna be wherever we go next. Try and tongue pull or something. Have a sixty-five percent chance, which isn't too bad. 
I'm pretty sure it is your fault. You just have to look and try and lick something in the distance, basically. Drop the acid grenade over here. Throwing grenade. The cobra shouldn't be immune to that because it's not poison. It's actual acid. I know cobras and the snakes seem to be uh, immune to poison. All of them seem to be immune to poison, or at least most of them do. How is this a 32 and that a 39? I just use preparation, which I'm going to do, actually. Now her turn comes a little earlier than it would otherwise. Didn't realize that they were gonna try and escape also. No ammo. Need to reload. Um, you can just take that hit. Yeah, that dude got scared. And he raged too. The only thing to hit is this hitman, so it's probably just gonna swing on them again. Although it does appear that every time we use him to use or get him to use smash while on, on something that's overwatch the game freezes like this i'm going to do the exact same thing i did last time and see if it still glitches all i got to say is that it still should have missed there it goes i was trying to say it's still gonna freeze again although he didn't berserk this time not on you. you just go for it shit i was gonna say dead i got a normal shot ah, yeah i might as well have went for dead i don't know why i didn't the veil oh yes right i can take a normal shot first also So I could have him shoot and then move and put him in overwatch. I could have did that also instead of taking that shot, but it's fine either way. Yeah, now we're going through the door that they already went through. We'll just enter through here then. We won't be able to use the, uh, the scan through here. But we already have good visibility. So we have plus 25 aim during the ble breach, which isn't too bad. Go for everything else. Throwing grenade. So if anything was aggressive, it won't be doing anything now since we just stunned or we disarmed everybody basically. Do we have a defender in here somewhere? Or a guardian, I mean, we do. The Guardian's also alert too, which is why I want to shoot everything at him and take it out. The mech's not going to be poisoned. I also kind of want to take the mech, but I don't want to be at full health in case we can't. Okay. Reprogram is still on cooldown, so I just use chaining jolt on the mech to try and take it out as quickly as possible. Basically, don't have to deal with it later on, especially with its uh micro missiles and works so clustered up right now. It's going to be a flamethrower shot. You're lucky I don't bruise. That's don't fire. What? Hello? I think it keeps glitching out my game. All right. Whatever, I guess. Making waves. Go for the number seven. Uh-oh. Wait, what? I'm confused now. Both of those dudes say number seven. Five and six now. Okay. That was weird. That was a whole weird move. Maybe I got to take Axiom back off the team. Not because he's not doing anything right, but just because his stuff is glitching the game out. Anything lined up? I didn't even check that first. A well, normal shot is also good enough to kill, so I'll go ahead and do that. If he was using Trank rounds, that'd be pretty good too. Although that would reduce his aim a lot. 
That's not what I expected to happen. It would have made more sense for them to just take the shot at the at Axiom. Oh yeah, I forgot she was in this fire too. Okay. That's a dash. So I'll move her over to here. She still won't be able to do anything while she's on fire except for shoot or use subdue. I'm in a terrible angle to try and hit the number two person. So I guess I'm just, uh, just going to have to deal with every shot they uh try and do to do twerk or axiom. Axiom is the closer target, but I think they have a better angle on twerk. That's not at all what I expected. One of them was immune to the... Oh, they're both immune to poison. I don't know why that is. I'm just going to keep them still so they don't just take a step and then instantly get poisoned by that. Let's see if we get a disoriented or stun on this. No, no, a stun. We always get disoriented. Stun is a chance. And we'll just use psych up first. I don't know how we have a higher chance to hit them than we do the thing next to us, but oh well, oh well I'll take whatever angle it's gonna give me. I was gonna say I was trying not to do it at first. So it's something with action in this playthrough that's glitching it out. interesting never seen him rage and not go for um a kill or something i'm not gonna move him because i don't want him to move and get poisoned immediately same reason why i didn't move patchwork because it already said that they were immune from this poison this point now there's probably going to be quite a few more enemies in this area it's gonna be rooted for their first turn lashing it through all right patrick can use her scan blue blood and then torque his torque can pull whatever she wants closer to her and just bind them anyway she doesn't have to move for that patrick would have been my second go for it but she has the uh a hollow scanning which i wanted to use for this entrance which makes a lot of sense now looking at how many different um not even how many different things are in here all the different enemies in here though well wow, how's the guardian over here which are shooting through a water hit also so that's weird well they just deal the same amount of damage and have the same crit rate so i just go for this normal shot here i want to take the guardian out more than i want to take the other thing out the bruiser because i think the bruiser just has a shield while the guardian can give a shield to everybody else just to make sure it hits i'll use poison spit on it too because that one always has a hundred percent chance and this is where the andromeda fighting ring or whatever was We'll try and see if we can get into uh rage or something. Yeah, deal some extra damage in here. Although I think he's definitely glitched because I've never seen him rage this often. He seems to be going after every single swing that he does. I still don't know what that tempo search thing does. I believe it lets him get a turn again and not as late. What can you reprogram? What's in here? I did not know that turret was up there. Let's go ahead for a reprogram on it. 
and we did get it the the timer the cooldown timer always appears before it actually does the animation so i can already start planning on what i'm gonna do next before it even goes off all the way where's this dude at i'm gonna shock him because he's the one who's gonna be moving towards the exit plus this to kill him anyways And it's done the dude next to him also, so that's pretty good. That's annoying because they put that right at her feet. I'm gonna start with that eye. And who else is moving towards the exit? What is now number seven is going to be trying to move towards the exit. Go for the dead eye shot. I didn't manage to hit that. Go for lightning hands next. Does this end the turn? Fires their pistol at every enemy in line of sight. Uh, only limited by ammo. Hey, we'll go for that number seven dude again. Squad, heads down. Oops, did not mean to do that. Definitely not what I was trying to do. I did hit everything though. That's pretty good. I was trying to do lightning hands first. Whoa, oh, forgot about that. Stop, drop, and roll. Drop it. You have my undivided. Can he move? He can't move, can he? I don't know why they're moving to this corner. Tongue pull on the go for the road, the Ronin, I guess. And take them out of this thing because they're running around dealing they're doing too much basically you can go for a shot on not them or them or them fucking why can't anything shoot this thing it's in uh, it's only inside of a not even a fence either it's just a cage barely barely one at that Let him use psych up again. Do you smash on number three or do we use smash on number ten? Just three to six damage. All right, cool. Patrick can use subdue to get out of this. I move right up next to this person. Hopefully it does the three damage instead of the two. Yeah, I, I forgot that it can't, it doesn't always do the three damage. So I was just banking that it would do it. He's gonna die in a second if he doesn't move out of here. Headed this way. You can use the nano med kit on yourself to heal up and stop the fire. Use lightning hands here. And now we have to reload. What's the what's left? Oh, the hitman all the way in the corner. It has to go through Axiom to to leave, but it doesn't matter because we can just do this because this doesn't take an actual this doesn't take ammo. It's just a shot, so it doesn't matter. That dude can't get out of the bind, and then that thing's already hacked, so it should just end the turn, right? Only lightly wounded. He was pretty fairly wounded. If he has to come off the team for a, a scar, that's not bad though. Because you can just switch Zephyr on and have him do assembly or something. And then put him in spec ops for a while. So even if he does have to come off, it won't be too bad. Those damn trains, day and night, ab and random. We never knew if anything was going to was going in or coming out because the entire switch yard without permission was a capital offense oh entering not entire uh it took the end of the war for us to finally see it 
Border wise, just warehouses, cargo yards, and train tracks. Stay out of Town, a local guide to City 31. Yeah, he did catch the scar, so that's fine. I think we should swap call signs? To confuse everyone? <laughs> I'm in. No, because I work so often with computer terminals. And you, you patch people up. Do you not like your call sign? Everyone makes assumptions about why I chose it. Well, everyone's an idiot. You stop softening for together like I close wounds. It's a thrill to watch you work. Thanks, terminal. And I do like your call sign. Reminds me of how you are on the battlefield. Are you saying I move at terminal velocity? Your moth does. <laughs> oh, Patches! Don't change a thing about you. <laughs> 